All right. Can you please make your way inside the room? Thank you very much. Ladies and gentlemen, we now would like to introduce to you uh, Mona Hossein, the creative force behind Lady Design. And Mona Hossein will be interviewed by uh, Marian Bahadur. But before the interview takes place, I would like to show you a video on Mona Hossein. Thank you. <laughs> She is a lady who understands the value of authenticity, who believes in balance and tranquility, who is deeply connected to her rich roots and heritage, and who appreciates and looks up to Mother Nature. She is a lady who has a deep love for history and tradition. And she's definitely a lady who makes bold, powerful statements. A design innovator behind many renowned projects and brands. The lady we're talking about is no other than famed designer Mona Hussain. The very creative lady behind Jotten's Lady Design. Mona is the creative force behind the Cairo-based design agency, the Mona Hussain Design House. Through the mixing and melding of textures and materials, she creates the warmth she is known for in her spaces. She brings to life the traditional richness of brass, the authenticity of chains and antique mirror, the natural beauty of parquet and textured leather, and the history of limestone and veined marble. Mona's passion for design extends from architecture, to landscape, to product design, and to branding. But perhaps her greatest passion and achievement lies in her world-renowned interior design. She looks to find inspiration in the smallest of details and always pushes the boundaries of design and innovation. Mona creates hotels with character, retail spaces with warmth, buildings with personality and homes with souls. She understands the need to create interiors that reflect the owner's unique sense of style. She is Mona Hussain, the lady of Jotun's Lady Design. Look up. <laughs> Okay, thank you very much, Mona, for joining us today. Uh, we're very pleased that you took the time to be with us as we launch Lady Design Collection to our internal audience. Um, you've been a, one of the creative forces behind this whole collection, and uh, we know that when it comes to design, you're really a creative force of nature. Uh, so please tell us, what is it that made you the person you are today? Well, uh, thank you for having me, everybody. Uh, I myself am very impressed with that video. I don't know how you made it. <laughs> uh, the, the force behind my uh, work is actually my passion for work. I uh, wake up in the morning. I think at night I keep on thinking about my work and solutions and creativity. So I wake up in the morning very excited about a new day where I have going to influence the design world. And uh, for me, actually, work is play. So what is it that really inspires you? Uh, everything that surrounds me, whenever I walk in the streets, whenever I travel, when I go to museums, when I look in a magazine or look in a book, everything actually ex inspires me. Okay, great. Uh, we really know that passion is a very clear part of what you do and um, we see that you love your work a lot. And if I can just mention a few of the projects, it's, um, you have a, left a mark into a lot of key projects. For example, I can mention Rutana Cove in UAE, which is one of my personal favorite hotels. This is one of your projects where you've uh, done the interiors. Uh, El Guna Resorts, which is a very big um, landmark in Egypt, in Hargada, another big project where you've left a mark. Um, LSE uh, Interiors, uh, Cilantro, which is a very hip and cool uh, coffee chain in Egypt that's growing to become international. This is also part of your project and the interiors is a big part of it. 
And not only that, you have your own chain of furniture, accessories, lighting, so you really have done so much in such a quick time, uh, sort of to speak. So how did you manage to do all of that? Uh, well, not so quick, but... <laughs> Uh, actually, uh, I think uh, it all amounts to the team that works with me. I, they share my same passion uh, with a group of 45 people uh, hustling and bustling in the office. I think you saw the, us one time. Uh, uh, we are all equal, actually, and we're divided into groups. And uh, uh, it's quite a fantastic team that we have. Yes, it is. And uh, speaking of the office, I have to say I was very impressed because there was a great buzz. And uh, rumors have it that you actually have a nursery. So can you tell us a bit about that? <laughs> yes. Uh, many of the, my staff are uh, women, very young. They end up married and uh, I don't want to let them go. <laughs> and uh, they have babies. So uh, I thought of the nursery and I think it's great. Uh, because we have future designers also on hand. Uh, but uh, I think the whole team and the office has enjoyed it tremendously, mm -hmm. uh, with the kids walking around uh, <laughs> during, uh, you know, the break, okay. and uh, the emotions that comes with it, uh, with the child seeing the mother, you know, every now and then. So it was really fantastic. Yeah. And I think the whole team enjoyed it too. And uh, we're not just uh, an office of interior design, we're like a family where each of the team uh, were divided into groups and each one becomes like a guru and a teacher to the rest of the team. Each one specializes, one in marble, one in paint, one in fabrics, uh, any finishing material, one in FFNE. And uh, periodically they give PowerPoint presentations to the whole team, what is new, what is progressive, what are the big international designers are doing. Mm -hmm. So it's really uh, a lot of fun. Yeah, it is. And uh, what's keeping the team busy these days? What are the upcoming projects that you're preoccupied with? Well, we have a number of diverse things uh, which are always interesting. They uh, push us beyond our comfort zones. Um, we are doing a landscape for an entertainment hub which belongs to Sodic. And it's a piazza surrounded by 20 uh, to 25 shops with offices. So designing the landscape of this piazza with the shading structures, with the fountain, with the water features is very exciting to us. Um, we are also doing something that's completely new, which is a hospital specialized only for women. Yeah. Uh, so that was also challenging, uh, knowing all the detailed requirements of a hospital, which is completely different than any homes or commercial spaces. So uh, there was a team that did their homework on that and uh, briefed us all. And uh, the client wanted it to be a perfectly hygienic looking hospital, very serious. Uh, but we decided to add a bit of a feminine touch. So the challenge between pleasing the clients eventually when they walk in and the client uh, was a challenge. Mm -hmm. Okay, anything in the region or uh, Dubai? Uh, well, there's something in Dubai, uh, but I think we'll uh, see it later. <laughs> what about your um, nationalizing TGI Fridays? That was quite interesting to read about. Yes. How did the Americans let you get away with this? <laughs> <laughs> yes, uh, a bit of convincing. Um, when TGI uh, launched their new uh, interior design concepts into the stores, the restaurants, um, they got negative results from the Egyptian uh, people. Uh, so uh, they approached me to fine-tune the American concept. And we did that with blending the colors, lessening the contrast between uh, the colors, which was a bit too loud. Uh, but we also proposed uh, to nationalize TGI Fridays. And a lot of people don't realize the concept behind TGI Fridays, which is the memorabilia that is hung on the walls, uh, that uh, talked about and showed pictures of athletes, of uh, TV series, uh, of actors, of uh, celebrities, singers. And the whole idea when you walk into TGI Fridays, uh, the kids and the parents and the families, they would see a cartoon character here, chat about it, a singer, mm -hmm. an old movie. Um, for us Egyptians, with, the, with these pictures that we can't really relate to, 
we introduced the local, nationalized the local athletes, singers, and stuff like that. So they really enjoyed it, and uh, the people liked it very much. And so the TGI Fridays. Okay, interesting. Uh, you also have a very clear vision, and we see this because you want to start up a Young Designers Academy. Can you tell us what you have in mind? Um, yes, uh, we've decided to do that because uh, I believe uh, interior design, there are so many details involved. And we as a whole team decided we're going to set up this academy where each guru in the office would also be uh, fine-tuning their presentations uh, and we are going to give summer uh, courses in that academy for maybe a month or two. We haven't finished the schedule yet and we are liaisoning, liaisoning with producers uh, to, for site visits for, for the marble factories, student factories and hopefully the paint factories. So uh, we can give all the young designers a jump start of uh, five years. <laughs> yeah. well, Jotun definitely has to be part of this. We would very much like to participate. Inshallah. Inshallah. And uh, we see that there's a lot of um, passion in all your projects and you're personally attached to them all. So what is it about Lady Design that got you excited to take part of this project? Uh, well, in all honesty, I would say uh, being approached by Jotun, because I know you're the leading number one uh, interior paints in the world, it was an honor for me and it, uh, it was a great opportunity and it provided me a completely new scope in design, pushed my comfort zone, pushed my boundaries, uh, so I was very excited. Great. And uh, do you see that Lady Design has a clear um, need in this market? Definitely. I think the need is, uh, is humongous and exponential. Uh, with the variety and the textures and the colors, uh, it's going to be fantastic. And I think it's going to bring out all the interior design in every one of us and it's going to create the personality that everyone is looking uh, for their homes, for the projects. Okay. Well, Mona, your contribution to the project has been very invaluable, quite significant. I still remember uh, when we invited you for our workshop, how you yes. managed in <laughs> just a number of very few hours to bring the whole collection light year ahead from where it started. You really helped us um, get in touch with the latest trends. You uh, opened our eyes to the importance of some of the trends and how uh, w painted um, or washed out paint is in and how travertine is what uh, would resonate. And you really added a lot of things that we might have overlooked. Uh, you also helped us make groupings of these collections, logical groupings and helped name the collections. And uh, not only that, you went all the way to help us plan for our shoot, how we will be bring these to life through creating interior design sets, which we will see replicated again later today. And this was part of our shoot. So you really went all the way in just one day uh, to help one. us significantly. <laughs> and not just that, when you returned, you were very spot on um, along the way, ready to help us whenever needed. So my question to you, how did you do this thing so effortlessly without much effort and in just a matter of hours? <laughs> wow. <laughs> well, in all honesty, uh, when I came, I was a bit scared. <laughs> uh, what I am being asked for, I didn't know. It was a big question mark for me. And uh, will I be up to Jutan expectations? But I guess the minute I walked into the room, I was uh, actually uh, pleasantly surprised with the amount of work and the collection that uh, you have uh, provided. It was uh, humongous and it was very creative and it automatically got me started. Mm. I started, you know, like the criteria you said, uh, I saw it so clearly and I think it was fantastic. It just needed a bit of uh, adding up and stuff like that. So I guess it was uh, you and I, and I, we both had the same passion. Mm -hmm. So it was very easy uh, to do it. Right. Uh, and do you feel Lady Design has a big potential? Uh, I think it's exponential. I, I honestly believe so. I believe the minute the client is going to walk into the stores and see the variety and see uh, the sky's the limit of the possibilities that uh, these colors and these effects can produce, mm -hmm. uh, it's amazing. Great. Uh, so if you were um, talking to a client, be it commercial or residential or a person even revamping their house, 
Uh, what sort of arguments would you use to convince them to go for lady design as opposed to any other decor solution? Uh, well, for one thing, I, uh, I would say I designed it. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, I would say because I know we're, we're all throughout the world, we're all having difficult times. Uh, there's a lot of value engineering going on in small, big projects, medium size. Everybody wants to cut down costs. And I honestly believe in commercial as well as residential uh, projects. Uh, Lady Design offers such great value added with costing so much less money compared to uh, other materials, whether wallpapers or, uh, or solid uh, surfaces. Um, and I think also Lady Design offers flexibility great flexibility for the people, uh, whether also commercial or residential projects, how you're always updated with the new trends, with the new colors. And if you're going to set up a, a stone wall or a brass original wall, you're not going to tear it down. It costs a huge amount of money and you're not going to tear it down. But I think with the lady effects, you can keep on uh, replicating effects and the new trends, even repainting a different color on an old effect and you get this wow effect of something completely new. Mm -hmm. Just take away a few accessories, add some others and there you have a facelift. Mm -hmm. So I honestly believe lady design is going to serve in, in those ends and of course, for the personal individual, for the satisfaction that the room, their homes, their character is so quite mm -hmm. out there, you know, uh, they'll be very proud of it. Great. And uh, you think Jotun has what it takes to lead and really be number one in wall design in this region? In all honesty, yes. I, uh, I really enjoyed the time, the two times I came here. Uh, I was impressed. I'm still impressed with the team, even with today's presentation. It's fantastic. Mm. Uh, and I think you have a great marketing team. Uh, your development uh, department is fantastic. They're always looking for something new. Mm. Uh, your sales team, you're reaching out there. So I don't think you have an excuse. <laughs> <laughs> great. And what should we do so that we really maintain this number one position? Uh, you should always, uh, I think, liaison with designers continuously all over the world. Uh, design now has crept into our lives, into the way food is set on our plate, into everything that we do and see. So it's very important that uh, the value added to our Jutan products should be uh, with design. So. Okay, great. Thank you very much, Mona. We're very happy that uh, you're with us today. We want to thank you for your great contribution, for your great sense of design, and for the inspiration you've added to this whole collection. Um, on behalf of Jotun, I'd like uh, Mr. Pedro Bolin to please present for you something that's very dear to us. Uh -huh. um, it's an integral part of the company's culture and identity, and uh, it means a lot for us. We always give it to anyone who's dear to us uh, and all our respectful partners like yourself. Uh -huh. So thank, thank you. you very much. <laughs> thank you for having me. <laughs> wow. <laughs> thank you. Very much. Thank you. <laughs> so this is an, uh, a yes, penguin. the penguin. It's fantastic. You know, I have a, a fireplace in my living room, and I just took off a painting, and I added shelves, wooden shelves, uh, because I love animals, and I keep on collecting from all over the world wherever I travel an animal that I would put there. So I have a nice collection, this will be perfect. Thank, Thank you. you <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you, everyone. Thank you very much. Uh, another round of applause for Mona Hussein and Marian Bahadur. <laughs> Thank you for a great insight. So, ladies and gentlemen, we are now ready to uh, break for lunch. Um, so, we have one hour lunch. Lunch will be served just outside. I will kindly ask you to just be outside because something will happen inside. So, please don't come back until one o'clock. All right? Bon appetit and see you later. <laughs>